hey guys welcome back so today in this lesson we are going to cover the most important aspect of trading and stop loss take profit as well because ATR is one of the most f frequently asked and highly respected indicator for use for being used for the stop loss okay and many traders use it for the take profit as well so okay let's start if I would say one of the most facts frequently asked question which are being asked from my students first of all they ask at according to the time frame which stop loss we should use and sometime if market is volatile and sometime it is less volatile so which stop loss we should use okay I highly believe so that many of the traders don't know how to use stop loss properly at no matter which type of strategy you are using okay so ATR is a highly respected indicator which we can use for our proper stop loss calculation my dear students ATR is average true range okay first of all I would like to explain about range like for example if market is moving and we got a daily candle like this okay so this is a daily candle and it has moved up like you know from it made a high like this okay and it made a low like this so this is our daily candle now we need to calculate our range so our range will be from this high point okay from this high point up to this low point all this area is included in our range of our you know today intraday trading okay our range for the daily candle okay now this is included in the range of daily candle now so that's range how ATR gives us range okay basically it is going to take basically it is going to calculate last 14 time frames okay last 14 candles like for example this is today candle daily candle so we made candles like this okay so it will take average of last 14 candles and we will count them we will plus them and then divided by 14 the range the average which we will get that will be average true range okay so ATR is very very important for time frame based stop loss of course this is a valid question for example if we use a stop loss for one hour time frame we cannot use it for that four hour time frame or daily candle okay similarly for five minutes time frame as well similarly volatility based stop loss for example sometime market is sideways sometime market is ranging sometime is market is extremely bullish or bearish whatever it is you know it is in full flow and full volatile at that time how we can calculate our stop loss as well these are very two important question stop loss based on the time frame and stop loss based on volatility as well okay and we can calculate our these stop loss using our average true range okay basically ATR is going to give us average of last 14 days okay so this is very important for time frame based stop loss volatility based stop loss now what we need to do we will go to our MT4 and we will properly see how we can use our ATR so let's go there and we will see these two important aspects of our this course of stop loss okay welcome back my dear students all right guys so here we are on the chart of GBP USD H1 okay and right now market is open we will see how we can use you know ATR indicator now right from yesterday market is right from yesterday market is in full volatile moment okay it is highly volatile and this bear has moved a lot right from last two days okay 
it has given a huge movement to the downward side now there are two types of question first one which we were already discussing about this time frame and second one was about the volatility market movement I want to explain you guys with an, an example my dear students if we take a look on this area of our MT4 of GBP USD yesterday okay if you guys focus on this area you can see there is extremely low volatile market now either you take a sell entry or a buy entry what will be your stop loss in such type of cases if you were thinking this pair has moved down and now it should go up so if you want to take a buy entry what will be your stop loss and if you think still market needs to go down so in such type of scenarios what will be your stop loss and take profit as well this is for the ranging market and we will see also on the volatile market etc etc my dear students let's discuss first of all about the time frame here we will go to navigator section okay if you press control plus n then you will get navigator okay and here we can see ATR click on that okay and we got this indicator right and what you need to do is to open a data window as well because it will show you complete calculations okay so here I got my data window right now so here is the ATR ATR calculations and here we have our data window let's check this ATR at right now current moment of the market I want to highlight it and this ATR is right now at this moment my dear students this is the current candle which is running right now and here we can see calculations it has given us 0 0.0014 okay now it basically means if you want to take either a buy entry from here either a sell entry from here your stop loss should be 14 pips or 15 pips that means that market will be unable or market will find a resistance to break up 15 pips to the upward side or to the downward side okay if you want to take either buy entry either sell entry now your stop loss is going to be 14 pips okay or we can include one uh, you know it depends upon some people use some more additional points like three points etc etc or I have seen some people even adding one into two ratio like here we have 14 calculations so they add they make it 28 okay but I will suggest you to use three to four point three to four pips extra for this calculation as well so in such type of scenarios if we want to take a buy entry or sell entry from here your stop loss is going to be 15 bits okay here we have seen calculation of GPP USD H1 time frame etc etc this is the current calculation now let's move to another point right at this example so here our ATR value if you want to see you can see that ATR value is triple zero eight that means your stop loss is going to be eight pips only okay your stop loss is only eight pips in this candle if you want to take either a buy entry or if you want to take either sell entry your stop loss is going to be eight pips now let's come to this point and we will see for example on this candle market is in full volatile moment and it has broken down and it came down so what will be your stop loss in such type of scenarios as well here ATR is still giving reading of 9 okay but here even though if from 9 market was unable to break move to the upward side and it went down okay now for example if we check it on M15 time frame and my dear students 
you will see how accurately it will give us calculations of ATR or range of the market. If we check at this point, ATR is giving us range of 9 pips. We can see in our data window, ATR calculation is 9. Or if we check at this point, it is going us it is going to tell us ATR calculation is 11. My dear students, now let's move to higher time frame and here we will see ATR on H4 candle of GBP USD. Right now this candle is running and we can see ATR value is 29, okay, 0 0.0029. That means we should use our stop loss for 29 pips. What is meaning of 29 pips? 29 is the average calculation of last 14 candles average calculation of last 14 candles of H4 of GBP USD okay so we have seen that on different time frames our stop loss is different and either if you have taken a buy entry you can even use your stake profit from the calculation of you know ATR as well so what we have seen so far ATR is going to give us different calculation according to time frame and it is going to tell us different calculation based on the volatility as well okay like for example in this case here market was in a complete range okay so ATR value will be difficult as compared to the volatile moment like in this moment here it was giving value of 22 bits okay now let's move to daily candle and we will see ATR calculation on daily candle as well this is the current candle and we can see its value as 70 pips if you want to take a buy entry from here okay that means that your stop loss should be 70 pips and your take profit should be at least 70 pips and mark and if we want to see it in the back here we can see our ATR calculation here we can see our ATR calculation here we can see as well so it is different according to the time according to the moment of the market as well so this is the explanation that how we can use our ATR indicator which is very important for time frame and volatility as well. I am sure that now you have got full clear understandable explanation of this average true range and you will never make a mistake for using a stop loss no matter which type of strategy you are using. Okay, thank you so much.